In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply the chain rule to several layers. So, for example, when, when given something like this here, your eyes will probably zoom into this bit here, and, uh, and then, and then you, you, you could visualize as this. Y equals 7, uh, cos, and then let's call this U, where, where U is, um, is X squared. Okay, and then, and then you, you, you would then apply the chain rule. So, so dy by dx equals, now looking at this here, uh, you, you would do, um, dy, uh, by du. Okay, so you, you would differentiate it with respect to u, but, uh, but then you would then times it with the differential of this, which is, uh, du, because now looking at this here, it would be du, by dx, so du by dx. So, so the whole, the overall dy by dx is given by this multiplied with this here, and you, and in a way, uh, that would then give you dy by dx. Okay, that, that's you applying the chain rule. Um, that's 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 good when it's nice and simple. You see, this thing is nice and simple here. But but in, in this case here, look at this here. So so here you you would look at this bit here and. You would, you would form, form a bubble here. So in this case, um, you would say, hang on, in this case, you would say, um, y equals 7 cos, let's, let's just call it w for the time being, w, um, where, where w equals, uh, the equals this thing here, uh, hang on, 2x to the power of 5 plus 3x. And then, um, and, and then looking at, looking at W here, you can, you can, you, you can then, uh, imagine this bubble here. And then you can then say, oh, by the way, W, W equals, um, equals root of U, where, where U equals, uh, equals this bubble here, which is, uh, 2x to the power of 5, uh, plus, uh, 3x here. So now, because, because this bubble here is so complicated, we, we're gonna have to use two variables here. So, so by, by the way, square root of, um, square root of u, we, we, we're gonna visualize it as, um, to the power of a half. It's nice and simple then. Okay, so, so, um, visualize this whole thing here as, uh, as this here, where w is this, but then within the w, we've got the u to the power of a half. Where u is, is, is basically, uh, functions within a function within a function, if that makes sense. So, so here, uh, if you want to find dy by dx, you would have to do this here. Looking at this here, it's going to be, um, dy by d, dw. So you've got to dy by dw. So, so you would differentiate, uh, y with respect to w, which by the way, it would be minus seven sine, uh, sine sine w and then and then you've got to times it with now looking at the w here let's let's just look at this one here looking at this here you've got to you've got to times it with dw over d u okay and then you've got to times it with now looking at this here you've got to times it with du by um by dx now this here would then give you the whole thing here Sorry, the whole thing here would then give you your dy by dx. Because, because this bubble here is so complicated. We've, we've got a function within a function within whatever. So, so, but in, in a way, it's like this. Uh, and then, and then this gets, so, so that would then give you dy by dx. So your dy by dx. So, so to differentiate this here, hang on, um, so to, alright, let's start again here. So to differentiate this here, we'll, we're gonna do it like this, hang on. Um, this would then, so, so d, hang on, so, dy by dx equals, now, differentiate this, um, so that would be minus 7 sine, uh, the bubble intact, so that would be 2x to the power of 5 plus, uh, 3x, okay, and then don't, don't forget, um, we're, we're gonna visualize that, uh, we're gonna visualize it as, um, uh, as w to the power of a half, remember. So, uh, w to the power of half. So that would be times, uh, a half, uh, a half, uh, a half, uh, hang on, let me think, a half 
2x to the power of 5 plus uh, 3x and then minus a half. Uh, and, then, and then don't forget the u was, was this bit here. And then we've got to times it by the u by dx. So times um, 10x uh, to the power of 4 plus 3. Okay, and, and within brackets here. So there, dy by dx is us doing. So this is your your d uh, d whatever it was earlier. Dy by dw was it? And this here was the um, the uh, this here was the du by dx. This one. Uh, hang on. The, the, well, it, it's going to be this here. Okay. Um, I think th this was the what the dy by dw. Uh, this here was d. Sorry, this here was dw by um, dw by du, and this here was du by dx here. So when you differentiate this here, it would it would give you this here, all, all that there. Okay.